Hi Fabrice, can you uh, tell us a little bit about the Jabber software development kit? Sure, so the, the Jabber SDK, we just released the first, uh, the first version just in, uh, in August. Um, it's really a toolkit uh, geared for application developers so that they can bring unified communication functionality into their application. That, that's really what it is. Okay, so what types of capabilities are you able to expose in web applications? Mm -hmm. the, the first version that was just released uh, in, in August, we can provide um, IM, instant messaging, uh, presence, voice, uh, voice messaging as well, so the ability to retrieve your voicemail uh, from that application, uh, as well as uh, web conferencing, if you want to, uh, to do a conferencing uh, directly uh, by calling WebEx, for instance, or things like that. Okay. Oh, so really a complete set of uh, communications capabilities. Yeah. And we actually, uh, since we're on the capability, uh, in, we're coming up with a second version in Q2 uh, 2012, and we will be adding video, uh, high definition video, mm -hmm. as well as all the mid-call features, so everything to do with transfer, conferencing, those type of things will also be uh, added to, to the next version. I see. So w what types of web applications do you see people being interested in adding the communications capabilities into? Right. There are really three big groups of application we think that will be very relevant. Uh, the first one is all your um, communication application, if you want. So that could be a Gmail account mm -hmm. where we, 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 we bring those uh, additional functionality. So if you are on, on your email, right, from, from Gmail, you could see the name of, of your coworkers and you could see their presence. You could right click to IM, right click to talk. Uh, but also some other social media application, you know, Cisco has uh, the Cisco Quad solution, mm -hmm. which is really the Social, uh, social, social media application for the enterprise. And obviously you have all your coworkers, you have the community you are interested in. And so you could directly, again, follow the presence, right click to chat, uh, or just talk to to person directly within the application so that you don't have to exit the application natively within the application. You can uh, enter those communication uh, uh, channel. Uh, so that's the first category, so communication application. The second one would be more uh, portal, web 2.0 portal. A uh, good example here is your directory. You know, most of the company, you look for somebody, you go to the directory, you enter the name, you get the phone number, next thing you do, you have to pick up your phone. Right? So here, directly from the web portal, you would have the presence, you see if that person is there, you can send an IM, or you can just right click and talk to that person right away from that web application as well. And the third one, which is also fa fairly uh, interesting, is from the, the line of business uh, type of application. It could be an SAP, it could mm -hmm. be, you know, as an employee, whatever you use uh, as a day-to-day -day, uh, work, as your day-to-day -day activity, if you have name of person, same thing, uh, you could have the presence and right-click directly to have access to them. Again, same ID, you don't have to get out of the application. Natively, from the application, you can reach out to uh, all your coworkers, all of your contact in an intelligent fashion because you know their presence as well. I see, that makes sense. Wow, that's interesting. So, do we see IT organizations using the SDK and building these applications themselves, or is it going to be outside developers? How do we see people interacting Probably with it? It's going to be a combination of all of that, right? Obviously, the, the IT buyers, uh, you know, the IT pros within an organization, they probably built a lot of their own tool themselves, mm -hmm. and they have now an ability, uh, an opportunity, I would say, to, to enhance those existing applications by bringing the power of UC inside, right? So definitely we expect uh, you know, customers out there to, to, to use that. But also, you know, developers, application developers who are out there trying to sell their own application, uh, they can make those applications much more relevant and attractive uh, and, and richer as well by bringing that uh, UC capability into it. And finally, the, la the last group, I would say all those um, uh, ISV who are out there, right, and they could uh, uh, be either hired by a customer directly for a special project to bring uh, richer functionality into an existing application, or sometimes they themselves have their, their own application that they try to upsell, mm -hmm. and that just makes it richer and uh, you know, much more relevant to the business as well. Okay, makes sense. Um, so how do you see this uh, contributing to the Cisco Jabber story? Cisco Jabber was introduced in March of this year. 
And so, yeah, it's, it's really a, an extension of the reach of, of Jabber, right? Uh, when you look at it, right, we have really the Jabber for Windows and for Mac, so all the, all the desktop presence here. Uh, we also have all the, the, the mobility aspect, right, and specifically on the iOS and, and the Android. Uh, we also working on the virtualized uh, deployment, so with, mm -hmm. with VXI, and we've done a lot of work, interesting work here uh, to, to optimize uh, the media path. And that just yet an addition uh, of, uh, of the way you can have access to the Jabber functionality, not just from the web, right? So it's really the, the core of the functionality is the same, and it's our story of multi-device so that you can have access to the same application regardless of your access point. So any capability, any device, any platform. Exactly. That's great. Yeah. So how can people get more information about this? If I'm a developer and I want to <coughs> start developing, what do I do? If you're a developer, you should go to Cisco CDN, uh, the developer uh, network uh, website, and you will have all the information. Uh, we just redesigned actually some of uh, the tool behind it. So brand new um, documentation, a community of developer, uh, sample code, so you will have access to a bunch of information to get you up and running. Well, that's really exciting. Well, thank you. Welcome.